It's a great pleasure to introduce Joseph Mias to SciArc tonight. I know this is of personal interest uh, and importance to Hernan Diaz Alonso, the director. Uh, and so for students and faculty to understand the context and the relevance of this particular visit. So I'll try to say a few words to that end uh, as a means of a short introduction. Um, Joseph Mias is an architect based in Barcelona, Catalonia, where he's the principal of his own office, uh, Mias Architecture, since 2000. Uh, Joseph is also an experienced educator. In fact, his first job I, I just learned was teaching alongside Enric Mirages as his assistant, um, and then his co-teacher. He has taught at Barcelona EDSAB, uh, where he graduated from, and where he continues to be involved until today. Harvard GSD, uh, Frankfurt Estadtschule, and the Bartlett, uh, where he's actually a visiting professor, you know, since the last uh, two or three years. He has received many very important awards and distinctions for his work. Uh, I mean, I could go on and on on this, but I'm just going to leave that to the bios and, and website. Um, Joseph Mias practices architecture in the city of Gaudí. Coderge, De La Sota, Miralles, Pinos, Tagliabue, and many other radical architects. Given this trajectory, you see, the problem of technology in architecture, that is the technical solution to a given problem with an aesthetic end, has never had an easy answer, especially for all those people. So for somebody like Gaudi, it was form and matter as a way of computing matter, geometry, volume or weight. Uh, of course, to a you know, certain marvelous and, and, and sublime end. Uh, for Enrique Miralles, it was the precision of drawings and intricate wire defining models. Many of these studies and exercises directed by Joseph Mias himself uh, for over a decade culminated with the completion of the outstanding Scottish Parliament in Glasgow. For Joseph Mias and a generation of architects working on a post-digital age, it's probably a less clear path, at once open-ended and flexible, radically rigorous and contemporary. The plasticity of Joseph Mias' work, its conflicting relation between part to whole, I mean tectonic part to coherent whole, the fearless involvement with structure, the attention to color and a diverse use of materials, all point to an overt intention to break with and continue the broken mold, the tradition of the broken mold albeit a very unique and idiosyncratic kind of mold, a Catalonian mold, uh, which aims to make, and I quote, to make the often messy and impure processes of design part of the experience of the building itself. Uh, so if I can second guess our director's recent detroit to, for this invitation and knowing his own obsession, it's impossible not to see the relevance and influence of Enrique Mirage's work in the work of Joseph. But also the contrary, it's also completely true. Uh, and this is quite important. Uh, maybe because the work like this continues to be perceived as obscure, quote unquote, in the often over intellectualized uh, American, American academic environment, the recent work of an architect such as Joseph in Catalonia is all the more significant in a cultural context plagued by common sense and overwhelmed by the pursuit of common ground. I mean, today, no? Uh, with the recent geopolitical change is moving as far right from common sense and common ground, and I'm talking about this country here, uh, as one could ever imagine, given our times, the need to imagine, articulate, and construct cultural forms of resistance, architecture being one of the most powerful forms, I'll argue, uh, is more pressing than it's ever been. What is relevant tonight is the con continuation, evolution, fracture, or whatever the conclusion each of us will draw, of the work of a Catalonian architect, concerned with architecture as a form of understanding the world and with the continuation of a tradition of a broken mold. So it is in this context that I would like to position Joseph's uh, timely visit to Sire tonight. So it's never been a very time to break a mold. So please welcome Joseph Mias to Los Angeles first and Sire. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. And this is my first time in Los Angeles. So I 
I think it will be not the, the last. So thank you so much. Um, uh, the introduction <clears throat> is more or less uh, close to my, my, my reality. Uh, I, th I have to say that Henri Miralles was a very important person for me, not only as an architect, but as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a friend. I think we shared 10 years, uh, and, and these 10 years uh, um, changed my, my way of looking at, at the world. So what I, am, what I am doing now is just trying to, to develop part of, of, of our issues, part of these uh, beginnings with, with Enric. So um, some, some issues, some concerns are, are the same and some uh, only have, have changed a little bit. So uh, I thought, I, I am, actually I, am, I have two jobs. I am, a, I am an architect, I have my own office, but I am a teacher. I think I am an architect to understand the world. I am an architect to understand through geometry, through drawings, through making the, the world we live. And I am a teacher because it's a way to share and a way to make friends. I think teacher is, my, my second job, and, and I, I thought that it would be, in a school of architecture, it's, it's, it's necessary to, to have both, both jobs. Uh, I, I have decided to, to explain part of my, my work, part, part of our, our projects, uh, but in a way that uh, it could be shared easily with all of you. So um, I will go through my, my work these last uh, 15, 15 years. I was with Enric for 10 years, and in 2000, I began my own office. Then these last uh, uh, 15 years, we have developed a few projects, but, but I will go fast through all of them, but just trying to, to understand the beginnings, trying to understand uh, my obsession with, with drawings and making the drawings possible. So, uh, I, I will I will show you how how we we work. Uh, for us, it's uh, absolutely um, impossible to think of architecture without thinking in drawings, thinking of, of drawings, and and how we transform these these drawings into 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 three D models into into architecture. So <clears throat> this will be my 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 contribution to 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 you. I think uh, it. I, I would hope. I would. Uh, I I hope it it help, and it has to be. And it has to be useful uh, for for the students at, at least. So the first I have divided the, the lecture. A lecture is something that it it's, it helps yourself. I think sometimes when I, I don't repeat. I don't repeat a, any lecture. I, don't, I get bored about, about repeating things. Uh, I have designed, decided to explain uh, the, the process, but I have organized in, in four groups. I will make an introduction of a project, just talking about this project, Igudzini headquarters in Barcelona. And later I will, I will go through four different strategies of, of working. This first introduction is just to show you how we, we deal with, 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 a, with, a, with a single project. And through, through this project, we can understand how, how we work. So Iguzin is a, you know, it's a, a lighting company uh, and a very important company in Spain, in Europe. And they were interested in, 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 in having uh, the main headquarters in Spain, in Barcelona. And, and we, we joined the competition uh, with, with, this, with, this, with this project. Um, so and the first part is just uh, forward. That's to say I will explain the project in a very quick way, and then we'll go backwards just to understand the, the beginnings and then some comments. Well, Barcelona is a, you, more or less, you know this kind of triangle. Barcelona right now is, it's developing three parts in different ages. And there is a, this is the entrance of Barcelona, a kind of a spaghetti junction where the, the project is placed. This kind of place where you have to fit 
uh, this this building, this headquarters, but uh, without any facade. It was the main, the first idea was just trying to, to fit something that could belong to the landscape, not not f not giving face to any in, any any place uh, in in particular, but trying to, to belong to, to to the place as as a balloon could 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 work. Just transforming, just looking at the the plot, it was the idea was just just trying to 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 fly it's just trying to, to be there but 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 in a in a position that could could be could be related to to the to the whole the whole area and these are the first sketches about how to suspend this this balloon uh, with these uh, central main columns and the geometry looking for the geometry of this interior this uh, this main structure just uh, from where on where uh, it has to be suspended. These are sketches about for for this project, just developing the interior space through this structure. You see here is more ca this kind of balloon with with the main structure inside, this opening an, a, a space, and all these drawings are looking for for this 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 uh, moment, this kind of togetherness a space uh, inside inside the balloon. These are the first sections. You see the, 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 the building uh, appearing uh, on, on the right, and then the kind of dress on top of the landscape to, for the storage, and so on. So these were drawings just dealing with, with the facade, this, this uh, thickness of, of the facade for this balloon, or just dealing with, with the kind of a structure to, to really uh, to really design the 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 the, the new the new skin. Uh, suddenly, we, we go from these sketches to to these geometrical drawings. Here you can you can see the the main central space with these five uh, pillars and how they from that that drawing we 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 go to towards this this section uh, trying to to find a way to hang the whole building from from this interior space here, a way of, of, of a very a very common way of working, just overlapping plants and sections, and how the sections and the plants inform each other. Uh, here you can you can uh, begin to understand how how it works. It works like a central main structure, a, a five um, steel structure, from which the is the the, the building is suspended. And from that point, we 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 we, we work as a as a, a scientist, a scientist in a, in a way that we are testing all the time, each te each sketch, uh, each uh, uh, hypothesis, each uh, drawing into into a, a kind of model. These models made with wire, and and one after the other. I th I th that's 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 what why I'm saying that this this lecture is. Is just for for it's like kind of between architecture and and our job as teachers because I, I want to explain how uh, we are bouncing from from drawings from models and from the very from the very beginnings. This was the model for the competition in which we, we won the competition and Sally one after the other just testing testing the the landscape the testing with wire the topography. Uh, looking for for the, sh the, the 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 final project, but but is a is a way of of looking forward and back backwards all the time. Here you can see more more about the project. Suddenly, part a huge part of the project was underneath underground. This big uh, big uh, concrete block just for the storage loading areas. Um, showroom, and then the the headquarters, the building for the headquarters, just on top. And this this testing uh, the structure, testing each piece of the project here. These five pillars with the responsibility, structural responsibility for each one of them, and trying to to find out which is 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 the the, the final the final result. So is one model after the other. This is a catalog of of a kind of archive of 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 this of this project, a kind of archive of each model, each each uh, drawing uh, turned into into a wire construction. So, 
also this, for example, this part was a very interesting um, moment when we, we want to, to deal with, with the structure touching the ground, how we could, we could work with, with, with this, this effort, these uh, this weights uh, that coming down from, from the top. And one after the other, these models, uh, just changing one from the other just to, to, to express something or just looking for something. Uh, I like these models because they are not a result, they are just a research. And, and I think um, that's, that's a point when, when I, am, I am feel that we are, we are working in, in, the right, in the right direction. Here you see the, uh, in the, the first, um, you, have, you see this block, this, this, um, this huge uh, concrete uh, container on top of which we have, we have the, the, the building. And, and again and again, testing the, the for example, in, in this model you, we, you can see one of these uh, five pillars with the responsibility and how each, the pillar has this twisting and trust 3D uh, shaping uh, just to, 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 to control the efforts and how we can support from the top of this column the part of, of, of the building. And again, at different scales, we have, we have an office in which we can work at different scales and, and trying to, 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 to understand uh, the, 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 the real track that the, the project is, is, is uh, performing. Uh, meanwhile, we had an opportunity to, to have an exhibition uh, in the Architectural Association in Barcelona and we, we show all these models uh, like uh, archaeology in this kind of boxes like um, history, natural history museum, like, like uh, something that was there but uh, just to be kept but not as, as a future. But at the same time, we placed the, 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 the big model on top of the Architectural Association building. But in the same way, we, we, we had the building itself, just at the, at the edge of this, uh, this basement, this concrete basement. Uh, it was, a, again, again, and this exhibition was another test for the project. I think I want to insist on this testing once and again, and, and the final position, just like a crown for these Picasso's kings, like a crown for this building, the, the, the model itself shows the final position for the project. This was an opportunity as, uh, as each uh, show, each exhibition, each uh, model we, we, we make in the office. So uh, here you more or less you can, you can see the, uh, each test, how, how we deal with, with, with every part of the process, how from three pillars, three columns, we, we, we change into four, into five, from five to ten, from ten to the, to the circle, and how we, we, we inform the project uh, not only by, by drawing, but uh, testing in a structural way. Finally, we have this, this pillar that uh, can, can resume the, the whole project, this pillar that constructs that builds the, the, the structure, but at the same time uh, is who define, is the which define, is defining the, the interior space, this togetherness, this space that uh, allow us to explain, to, to explain the project as a, as a place uh, in which you can, you can work. So these are different, different tests for, for the project with, with the final, uh, how to, 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 to to sit on the ground with these concrete, mm, uh, these concrete parts or in, in, in wire, so this these are this is more or less how, how it works. You have this big underground building with with loading areas, a garage, uh, garage and and theater of light, uh, places for the show showroom for interior uh, lighting, and here just to to to, to to be just to, to, to understand here you can see more or less the, 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 the both both buildings the underground the huge underground building and the, and the headquarters just suspended uh, on top of, of this big platform that works as a outside uh, showroom for, for the lightings and here the normal plan for for, for this for this uh, uh, office building so here you can understand how, how it works. It's, it's, it's the main structure, this big 
a structure, these five uh, columns, three-dimensional columns, and from these five uh, columns, you, you suspend the whole buildings from the top. Then you put, you bring the air force from, from the top to the ground, and the whole building is suspended from that. So it's a way of uh, having all the structure outside the, the, the working space. Of course, in this model, you see that uh, the facade is working in a structural way. So we test the building in, in, different, in different ways uh, until we get that point in which not all the facade could specialize in, in these five points, turn into 10, and then this three-dimensional we call bananas. This three-dimensional, these ten three-dimensional bananas that helps to support the whole building. These are these are documents that inform our our design. It's not about only shaping, but it's is about a structure. I think for me, geometry is something that helps to develop in a in a formal way the project. But geometry is something that that relates to how the, the, the project works and, and for me it's really very important to to balance, to have a kind of um, balance between between our decisions and, and the structural decisions. Here is this is the one of the last models in which you can understand you can see how the, the facade uh, turns into these ten bananas, these ten trust uh, beams uh, on the facade just to help uh, the structure. Here is a very easy model in which we, we can understand how it works. It's banana uh, with this, uh, when you have this wood piece, it, you, it works in, in compression, and when it is rope, it works in traction. And this is how we, 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 we make this, we made this model. This is the, it was called the pizza model, just to understand uh, how it works. It's super, you have these five points at the top, and the rest is suspended uh, from that from that point with this with the help of these ten these ten bananas. Here, just to to, to, to to have in mind what what we are we are talking about, you you see this huge building underneath, this kind of sacred uh, spaces that are there, and this is the main the main the main. Um, Animal, the main, the main actor in this in this project. So again, uh, while 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 making the, the drawings, we we have this this kind of uh, parallel uh, work, like corpse is is and, and this, but it, it helps a lot to understand how uh, how it will be built later on. So mm, our office is a kind of. Uh, Laboratory, kind of, uh, kind of research center, and and then suddenly when you have the opportunity to build, it's just some, something that uh, has been prepared, and the placing of this pillar, for example, it's it, it's different suddenly because it's not only one hand on top of this piece of wood, but a lot of people trying to fit uh, this structure. So. Right now, just a few images from from the basement, and having this 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 uh, amazing structure putting up, and and everything uh, has been drawn, tested, and and modeled. Uh, also, these pieces at the top of 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 the of the of each column uh, are. Are these kind of amazing and huge pieces of, of metal uh, that uh, are really? Uh, it's really amazing when you you realize that everything is is so close to 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 your to your drawings and how how everything is so uh, related to to the to the previous stage. Suddenly, this was the the main structure, and here we had. A amazing moment, and sadly we we, we, we we got the crisis in Spain, and we spent two years with only this kind of cactus there. Just entering the Barcelona Barcelona city, you had this this kind of a structure there hanging, and sadly we 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 could we could uh, keep working, and this is uh, these are moments in which you you feel that you are. 
you are in the right way. No, suddenly when you see this, that f to for to allow this building to be hanging, you need this this underground big uh, container. This is the loading areas. Underneath you have these these huge structures. And again, these Ferraris we call these pieces Ferrari because of the shape. And again, these big pieces. Just you see here these ten uh, Ferraris just uh, helping the structure to to be held. So these are the bananas, and sadly we had these images from the from the top. And and just the, the roof, this outside uh, showroom for lighting and looking looking to Barcelona. But but this is the moment that we were we were looking for this. This interior space. I think suddenly you realize that that this is the the, the 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 real the real space you were looking for, and and this feeling of 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 togetherness. I call it togetherness because I don't know exactly how to call it, but but I think this idea of of sharing that you were there with 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 this this uh, challenging uh, place, and here images looking looking up. And the the space inside, the, just during the furnishing, and for to, to protect from the sun, we had these different studies, and and finally we we, we reached this point in which uh, you you define a very honest in a very honest way you define this new layer a layer that is to protect from the sun, and with the shape that results from the from the from the calculations. And this this is the the structure ready to 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 receive the the last screen, a screen that is designed to 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 keep uh, to to filter the light to filter the heat, but at the same time to allow you to see through in 80% of your visibility. This is the, the 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 layer one on top of the other of the other, and this is the. The, the dress for for the building, just dressing the building in a very, in a very just accepting that you need to protect uh, the building from the sun, and but where where you need it, you you put it, and when you don't need that, you just take it off. Again, and, and uh, different models. It was very important how this balloon. Uh, touches the part uh, underground, and it was very important how how this point here, th this 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 is a joint. I think this belongs to the ground, to this concrete uh, uh, basement. But you need to to give freedom to that point in order that if the balloon moves because of the weight or because of the wind, then you don't have you, you the, the 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 glass don't don't crash and doesn't doesn't collapse and then you you have to give some kind of freedom to that point that's 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 a point here sorry and this is the 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 staircase from the ground floor to the to the underground levels and here you can see uh, the interior spaces and how they work uh, uh, when furnished these are the offices, how, how they work, and the auditorium underneath, and the bar restaurant uh, on the ground. This is the, the spaces, the, 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 the showroom uh, in this, ba this basement, this concrete uh, closed without any light basement. And again, these are, this is the, the, the main secret of, of the building, I think. It's not, it's not the idea of keeping the secret, but this is the idea of having this amazing space that gives light to to the whole spaces with 15 meters from one facade to the other, from the interior to the facade. You 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 have uh, enough light to 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 work uh, with daylight the whole the whole day. And these are this is the 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 water. Uh, pool at the bottom. Just looking down, you see the sky. You don't see you don't see the bottom. You see you see the reflection of, of the clouds or the sun. 
and and this is it's a, 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 a very a very special moment when you look down and you 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 see the reflection of 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 of, of the sky. So here you can see more or less this 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 screen this new dress with a very sophisticated system to prevent from from dilatations and during winter and summer you have these points in which this this is a kind of regulation for the tension of this of this material but it's it's really interesting how how it works because it it really it really it really works uh, with with the purpose of protecting and of course Igozini is a lighting firm a lighting company and it has to it has to show uh, its potential so here you see more or less that this is a spectacle but what is really very very important is this outside showroom for 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 the the, the company I think something is happening. Yeah. Here you can see the sequence of the, of the, of the works. I think a high speed. I think more or less you can. I think it's really very important how we placed most of the program underneath, underground, and in the end we have only this kind of balloon belonging to the landscape in a very in a very uh, equilibrium in a kind of sophisticated equilibrium so so this is my private conversation with with all of you is is after finishing a, pro a project, I think it's a kind of frustration when you finish a project because you this is a, a project is a possibility, is a final possibility, and after after finishing a project, we 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 used to we used to 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 come back and with a kind of frame. In that case, we 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 choose we choose uh, Bluesville. Bluesville is a photographer that takes photos takes photos in a very plain way. So this is kind of way of looking back. And I in a way that that you can you can understand that where do you want to belong to? I think here you can you can see our drawings but you can see the power of this all these images. I think you can also understand the geometry in our projects through these through these images. I think I have chosen Bluesville in a way to it's, it's kind of it's a kind of music for us. I think it's a way of 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 uh, of helping you to to go back in in a. It could be Bluesville or anybody else, I think. But it's important for us to, to, to have a kind of parallel life. Each project has, has something or somebody helping or pushing in, in a direction or other. I think it's, it's a kind of private, private life. Really kind of each project, each project has, has a, private, a private life that, uh, that helps you to, to keep working. Here you, you can see more or less all these joints, all these points. Okay, and 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 I want to show you something funny that I have been offered to to lecture of, uh, about this project a few times and and. And I have I, I have just 
brought my this this uh, this posters this 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 advertisement for my lectures, but in um, I have I have done a few a few workshops about about the structures and and I think and I think we have to take our work seriously, but not so much. I think I think. I think we we, we, we we are I think we are working in 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 a direction, but uh, at the same time we have to to be uh, we have we need a kind of sense sense of humor about our work. Um, this is this is a funny funny moment when we instead of in a workshop in Italy instead of making buildings we we built insects, and among them there was uh, Iguzzini. But I, I, I like to, as I have said before, I, I like to have this kind of parallel life, this kind of personal fun. I think, for example, this was a poster for a, a lecture in Brazil. And, and I thought it would be a, a nice way to, to, to bring or to explain this project. I think in a very, in a very funny way uh, in Brazil or in London or just trying to compete with Foster. But, but this is not, now this is serious. I think I was just joking, but, that this, but this is the real, the real image. We are there just trying to, to have a conversation with Buckminster Fuller, with Leonidov, with Charles and Ray Eames, and we are just there trying to have, to belong to this conversation, to belong to this group of architects dealing with, seriously, talking about architecture. So, um, our, our work is not, is not only about architecture. We are interested in a lot of different things. At the beginning, you have seen these human towers we have in Catalonia. And, and we, are, we want to bring a lot of different things to architecture. And, I have, in a very quick way, I have shown these images at the beginning, but now you can you can see how how it works. I think it's really very just for example just understanding these 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 towers. You you it's really very important that the height, the weight, and how for example these three persons are putting up are going up or down together, or how different different people can be uh, just uh, equilibrating the, the weights. You, you see more or less they are, they are working together. The, 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 I, I want to say with that, that that for us architecture is not only about buildings and it's about understanding reality. And, and in the case when you look at these human structures, uh, you, you see that it's the, important, the importance of, of of the weights and the importance how, how, how they work. So this is the, the introduction. And right now, I will go through, through in a very, in a very, very quick, very quick way. The, I, have, I have put together uh, projects that uh, deal with, with existing buildings. Um, it's a way of inser insertion. I call it insertion because I want to show how we work with, with existing buildings. This is the, the first project is Barcelona Market in Barcelona. This is the structure of the existing, the, the former building. We kept the memory of this structure and the new program for this project, the, the restaurants, the new offices for, for the market, and the supermarket and the spaces for the community were uh, placed uh, at um, placed at the top of of the, of the roof. This is Barcelona. Here we have our little Manhattan. Uh, this is a little Manhattan. This is the space in this this kind of central park with the existing market. This was the quarter, and then these former years it was a very nice place. And this is the memory of the of the building, the structure we kept. This is uh, my son's view of this building. And here, the first sketches just trying to occupy part of, of the roof. And the whole project, the whole program, the new program for the, for the refurbishment of this market is just occupying the, the, the space in between or just giving thickness to the roof. 
It's like the little prince when the, the, the snake eats the elephant and you have a hat. And again, uh, I have brought my, my first sketches, my first models. This is the wire model in which you can, you can see how, how this animal is capable of eat, this new program that is trying to eat, the new program, the new uh, restaurants, offices, um, um, community office, and supermarket, work, and all these all these new problems. This is about geometry in Sanli. We had the opportunity to show the project in an exposition, an exhibition. The, the, the model fall down, and we had a Frank Gehry's project instead of a Mia's project. Um, it kind of destroyed building, and and uh, this is these are images from the from this new skeleton, and how. We, we, we brought through these very narrow streets all the bones for this new animal that is the new, the new market. Here you see these images of the new, the new bones and how we, we add new program just giving thickness to, to, the, to, the, to the roof, accepting the memory of the building, the, the structure, but adding new conditions to these spaces. These are photos of these new conditions for the building and but accepting part of the of the past and adding a new layer on top of that. Here is more images of this kind of a huge animal but accepting that we need to keep the project. But this is these are spaces for new restaurants but just just try just Taking the, the, the same the same skin the same roof and making this movement to make kind of public space and towards this big open public piazza, but at the same time keeping the memory of the place and keeping the interior as it was a, a place to for people to meet and talk and not only to to go shopping, but but uh, trying to to keep uh, this this atmosphere that was. Previously, here, uh, instead, and then suddenly you need this kind of fire exit. The structure you place the structure outside in order to have the same, uh, the same ground floor free for for from a structure, and replacing a lot of a lot of existing materials again on on the facade. This is the. This is this this new roof, and this was an amazing moment during the opening. Uh, the, the, that same roof work as a, as a kind of umbrella. I think the generosity of the building is shown in these images when when the same roof helps to to keep people underneath. This is a project in Barcelona as well. This is a station for for a, a park, amusement park, and we 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 just work uh, inside placing kind of a kind of like a ghost placing these uh, bed bed sheets to project images from the top and this is uh, the way we inhabit this space with this kind of um, mechanical artifacts and meanwhile we were working on this project for competition but it's again something that that happens in our office. We are working on a project, and at the same time, something is happen, happening close to that project. Again, with with occupying this 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 historical building uh, at the top of the mountain in Tividao, in Barcelona, we we work with with a lot of a lot of different spaces. This is an auditorium, a puppet theater, a uh, space for Lego construction, and these animals inhabiting the the existing. And these are the models at different scales up to the real scale and how we, 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 we work with, with, with these new inhabitants for, for this space. This is an amusement park, so we have to invent a kind of uh, fantasy uh, and, a, and a space for, for children. And this is the entrance to the puppet theater. And again, these different volumes are for different purposes. And these are these amazing lamps, and when we had the opportunity to, to to design a table for the models, looking looking at the at the at the city, we, we decided that it could be like a kind of 
machine, uh, flying machine, and again these are the, the images of the, the spaces for, for the children, and this is the interior of the puppet theater. This, this roof uh, with, uh, with this, these skylights, these PVC skylights, uh, working at the same time uh, according to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the work is, that is playing. Here it is. And this was, this is another project we have just finished. It's, uh, it's again a, 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 new, a new intervention, an intervention in Palau San Jordi in Barcelona. We, we were asked to, to design a space for the private parties uh, when Britney Spears or Madonna or, or whoever, uh, when finishing the, the show, they need the space for their private parties. And we, we designed this, this kind of uh, futuristic spaces uh, in which uh, happens whatever. So, and this is the last project for this, this, um, this first part. And this is a very special project for me because it's a, a mental health center. And, and we work with, with the patients. I think we, here, the architects, we were working with, not only in our office, but, but with, with the patients and with a lot of different people. So we have learned a lot about these mental diseases, these mental uh, problems, and, and I think it's a project that we have to share with, with, with them, with a lot of people, not only architects. This was the existing building. This is the kind of, you see, it looks like a house for mad people. <laughs> and this is the, the enlargement of, 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 this, of this building. We work with, with this kind of um, handmade material stuff they, 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 they do. Uh, as a therapy, uh, here you I have chosen some images that are from 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 them and overlap. Uh, they are overlap with our own work. I think so. This is these are the existing buildings, but we are overlapping a lot of different conditions from from their own work and 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 the work we we, we do in the office. Uh, and again, I, I want to say that we, we work in, in the project, but I, I am in need of producing in parallel a lot of, a lot of uh, different material, different stuff uh, to, help, to help the project uh, go further. This, here you can see more or less how we, these are models from, from this is existing, this is the new, the corridor, all these uh, different parts and how we are overlapping material from the patients and ours. And suddenly there are two parts. This is the part of the refurbishment of the existing, very just to clean, and the new, the new corridors, the new, the new spaces, new rooms for, for, for the, the patients. And these are, this, is the, this is the existing, then suddenly you have this kind of shelter, this kind of screen and the new parts for, for, the, for the new rooms. And then the most important part is this, this open, open space for them to, 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 to stay here. I have to say that the therapy they use in this center is the Orchid Greenhouse. They take care of their kids as a therapy. And this was one of the, of the, main, the main issues of, of the project. I think it's really nice when, when talking about about your kids, you are talking about taking care of them. I think it's a kind of metaphor uh, that works. And here again, overlapping the existing, overlapping uh, works by the patients, overlapping with, with, with things that we did. This is the, the orchid uh, greenhouse and the existing and these different types of windows because it's really, for them, the light is something that helps really to improve uh, their conditions. And we have learned a lot about, about these this new conditions. The project was selected as, as the Catalan, for the Catalan Pavilion in Venice, in the Biennale, Biennale the Biennial of Venice. And I decided not to show our project, but to, to, to create a new, new staff with the patients. So we, we took part of their work, part 
of our work and we began to to prepare a kind of collage and in which uh, they can feel that way they were working on that so so in the in Venice we show we, sh we show this kind of, of, of a stuff. You can see part of the, of, of the project, but at the same time, part of their work. I think it's a kind of grafting architecture was, was the title of, of, of the exhibition. But uh, what was really important is, is uh, that the work was not only by our office, but from the patients. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this. This part is called is called uh, topographic movements. It is just a very a very quick um, very quick visit to our projects that relates to topography. Topography. This is a, a very very a very easy. <laughs> I think this is a very student this student work is is a house, a very small house. There were a few walls existing, and the process is just enlarging these walls and trying to twist them in order to get uh, a, a grade of complexity. Uh, the, 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 the building, the, the house was made by the same owner uh, in, a very, in a very easy way, but is, in order to, to get this, this, this kind of very simple, very simple spaces, but, but I think it's, it, it helps a lot when when you are a student to, to look at these very simple exercises. This house is again, this is the plot, and it's again more or less similar. You are taking parts of this plot. One part is for uh, the parents, the other is for a, a son, and the other is for a daughter. And the main effort is just to create uh, the sharing spaces that has a kind of verticality. And these are the models for this vertical crossing uh, space that relates uh, all, all the, all these three different, different houses, and this is the, th the uh, another house. This was, uh, uh, these were the first, the first sketches. It was a house in a very deep slope, and we wanted to create something like flying on top of this, 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 this landscape, and we designed different spaces looking at the landscape, and these are the models at the beginning like this kind of wings. Uh, but Sally had to, to, to transform this into, into this kind of, of one single level uh, displaying project with this end uh, skylights, this kind of patios for the light, but each part looking at the landscape. And this is, this is how, how it was developed. But the nice thing is that we, 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 we <laughs> We, we kept we kept uh, each space looking at 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 the, at, at the landscape and, and and this idea of 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 connecting light from the, the, the patios to the to the outside spaces and the last uh, house we, I want to show you is this this uh, topographic house is a very thin but long house because we have the sea here and it's a, a very thin uh, uh, way of displaying the project, but but uh, very long, and, and and these are the 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 first the sketches about these these walls, these different uh, layers, uh, different facades, and again these are the the, the structures. And what it, what was nice is that it was designed to to have different walls, sliding walls in in, in glass, some some of them uh, like curtains. And this is how it works. From from the from the from the from the entrance is more this closed space, but as soon as you cross this 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 closed area, closed area, you can you can see the the here. As soon as you cross, you have all these these amazing views of the whole area. This is the, uh, here you see more or less these sliding doors, sliding walls, glass walls, just creating different ways of, uh, of uh, dividing the space. Here you see, just filtering, 
filtering each. At the same time, we have an office in which we have one single table. I think we have one, 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 one table, and we work all, all, all uh, on top of this table. So it's really easy to, to, to share things, and it's really easy to, to contaminate projects among them. And that's what happened in this project. This, this, was, this is a, mar a market. And we had to develop a new facade with an office building here and this kind of public space here that was just this kind of chaos. And these were the drawings coming from that project. Uh, we, we, we reached this moment in which we had this thick, this new, this new uh, facade to the market and this kind of waving surface uh, inhabiting the offices uh, at five meters uh, thickness of offices. But what I'm say I was talking about is this idea of contaminating this topography with the facade and, and creating this, this kind of, 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 uh, this kind of, of new space. The, this is a, a, a suburbial uh, s town close to Barcelona, but suddenly this project ga gave a lot of centrality to this area. And just a quick jump to, to this project uh, that I, am, I was really fond of because uh, it was an, uh, an opportunity to, to begin working with the structures. And, and it's a golf club here, this idea here. And the project was about trying to find out how this kind of a animal could crawl on top of fitting fitting his its shape on top of the topography and and these images were 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 really helpful this kind of circus uh, structure just just with the minimum uh, structure you have the maximum of the space and then the project has a lot of program underground this the swimming pool uh, gym uh, and a lot of program but these are the models of 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 how the, the building is looking for its shape, but in a very easy way, just swimming pool, uh, social social space, restaurant, but looking for in, for the the final the final the final form in a very unconscious way. I, I want to say, this is the the, pro, the, the, the st these are the the beams, the, the structures themselves. They look like a building themselves. They were brought there and they. Just, they stood there for, for a long time. And, and again, this idea of creating the conditions for, for something to happen. No? I think, mm, I think s sometimes you are looking for something, but you get something different. These are images from this building. From, from, it has no facade. I think it's a building that has, has the most important thing is this condition of this 360 degrees window around, and this very, 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 um, very small window, uh, only two meters high window, very narrow view of, of the surroundings. These are these are the spaces inside. This big, the restaurant, and the swimming pool. The swimming pool. If you could stand here, you could touch the wood. And Sally it is like trying to make it disappear. And then Sally in the spring or summer, it looks like that. He's, he's, he's looking around. But these are the, the, the images I like the most. These images that transform a, a huge building because it's eight 8,000 square meters, it looks that it's not so, so big when you, ha you have uh, really accepted the, the, how this kind of crawling on top of the landscape. Uh, meanwhile, we had the commission for, a uh, commission, that was a competition, but this kind of bridge uh, is a, it, it was, these sketches, we were thinking of a grasshopper, you know, like to cross over a uh, highway, but but I thought that it would be better just to create a kind of a space, public space. I think uh, this bridge has to connect two parts of the town, 
and there are two two different parts and they are not really connected because it's really difficult to cross this 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 road and this was the the the, the structure with the with, with the we design to cross uh, and to, to create a, differ, a lot of different moments through through this this track i think this is a clear image of that no? i think you, you, we are just we are crossing but that you have a kind of place to look to look back but but it's a lot of a lot of different moments but but the, the nice moment is this is this one when when during the opening it, the, the bridge uh, on top of the motorway uh, turns into public space i think a kind of piazza and and, it, and i think it's it's just not it's not a place to walk, to to cross it's a place to stay and that was a, a, a nice a nice moment so very very quickly I, uh, this is a rodin rodin sculpture uh, i think we had the opportunity to work in a pavilion in italy uh, for a for a for a company and with these images with this test in in plaster we wanted to express how how the urban furniture belongs to the block, like, like in Rodin's work. And this was an exercise with, this, with the bench, the, the, a lot of different urban pieces. And this was the, the pavilion uh, with it. You see here part of the bench inside of the block and then trying to, to see the shape of the new bench. But just explaining this idea that the stone has um, the future in, in itself, and this project allows us to 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 allow. No, this project is a very easy way to 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 to, to go to this one. And with this that that project, I will finish this part. Um, this is an old town in in in, in Catalonia uh, with a lake. It's a, a town on top of calcaria uh, stone. It's a uh, uh, travertine, a stone, and in former, this is the old part of the city. The city is made with the same stone we have on the ground, and these canals from the lake, they were used for former industries. These were the canals, they were, they were covered. These are the public spaces, they were covered because of the industries disappeared, and then uh, the project, the competition we won was to, to, to recover these, these canals and to produce something new with the water and entering the, the, the old part of the town. The project is about taking care of all the pavement, designing the pavement, cutting, making this kind of cutouts with a cutter uh, to, to allow you to, to see the water but to connect the sound from this, pa this part to that part, to, this, to these different parts, I think, is a, a very, very hard work uh, with, to, to, to draw on the pavement and to explain, for example, when you have this shape, this round shape, is because there is a slope. When it's a square, it's because it's flat. But this is uh, what I was uh, talking about. This is kind of intensity, just uh, with just placing each piece of a stone on, on very carefully. And this, were, this is a main square. This project is, has, has been, we have been working on this project for these last 10 years. And it, it's composed of six, seven small squares. This is the main one. And you, we, pu we put up everything because of course we need to place all the, the, the water supplies, the electrical supplies, a lot of things. But this, this was the main idea, to, to bring the water as an actor. This is what happens underneath, but this is what will happen above, just to explain how, how the water can, can occupy the public space and can bring a new condition to, the, to the, what, what it was uh, in 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 uh, 300 years ago, so the the project is taking care of all these uh, small pieces, but trying to to make the minimum noise to that place. That it's absolutely amazing. This is a amazing architecture made with the same stone of the city. We the pavement is with the same stone, just taken from the ground, and with these cuts. We, 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 we take the, the water to the surface and creating this kind of um, not only a new atmosphere but 
new new back uh, soundtrack to, 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 the, to the town. This is part of the main square and this cut out following and giving I think I am really happy about this project because of the of 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 how people enjoy these these new conditions. How not only not only is 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 this 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 this, uh, this uh, child is playing with a, with a, with a with a paper ship, uh, just taking the ship here and just looking for it uh, one kilometer further. And and I think this is what what I really enjoy when when you you see that your 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 architecture or your project has a kind of uh, answer from 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 the people. Here you see how it works, that, that this all part of the town is, is quite big and, and, and we, have, we have made, uh, I, I think we have really changed uh, a lot these, these, these new conditions. Here, for example, this, you, can, you can see the existing bolt to, to, to cover this cutout we made here, but, but for example, this is a folding piece in case of floods from the lake then the water can can come up can come up and then you have the water just on top of the pavement but it's a, a very sophisticated way of controlling the, the water and making this uh, these cuts on the pavement these are images of, of this space and uh, new new squares other squares public spaces we we, we design and here you can see more or less the precision of our work. Sometimes I'm talking about intensity. I think perhaps the words I really like to talk about is about uh, be, be very precise and be, be intense. Here you see just an effort to, 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 to keep silent. I think the architecture is so powerful that you also this kind of this, the, 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 also, the, the urban furniture is absolutely, uh, absolutely um, easy. You know, I think this is the trunk bench, and this was an existing, existing fountain. And then we just we we keep we kept this this perimeter to, to for the water, and we kept the, the, the existing stone, but the new. The new, the new way of keep bringing the water towards that, that point. It was just uh, trying to, to like your hands, you know, like like using your hands to, 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 to bring the water to your mouth. It's like using these folding surfaces to bring the water to the, to the bottom. Here you see when the, the surface is flat, the the, the, the stone is is a, in a Roman way. You know, it's just placing small pieces, but in a very, very easy way here. When it's really narrow, you have this kind of section. And this was another special point, a square, where we found the foundations of a former theater. And we tried to, to draw these different layers, the layer of the foundations, the layer of, the, of, of our, the layer of, the, of the, our stone, the layer of, the, of this canal, how this canal could produce something around this existing fountain, how to keep the trees. And this, this was the, the we, we, were, we were awarded in, in, in Paris because of this project and, 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 and these are the drawings of this kind of overlapping. And here the test for the water because suddenly you have different shapes this could, could produce kind of turbulence and then it's kind of a stop then we have to this has to be to be test a lot of times here you see the drawings on the top of the pavement what is really nice is when it rains when it rains the different cuts of the of the stone produces different textures and you really can enjoy that but but that's that's a nice moment when when they are using your architecture to really have fun no? This is one of these squares, and here you see how we, 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 we redraw the pavement and how you, the, the pavement explains the history and how people enjoy that, 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 that new conditions, how they enjoy that, the water again on the surface. 
and how they use these these spaces to have fun and to to really have a personal experience. Here you see you have seen this pillar. Meanwhile, this we were making that this in the lake we have this kind of animals, and we decided to bring the water from the fountain with this kind of uh, this kind of <laughs> animal just approaching to to the to the main canal. In the end, the, 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 this is the the moment. In, in, uh, this is about precision. It is about geometry, and and in the end, they use. <laughs> <laughs> you approach it as they, as they want. I think, and I, I want to finish this 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 part with 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 uh, saying that architecture is not only about drawings and not only about photos, it's about experience, and and this is the experience we have. Okay, this is about three projects, uh, and growth is the is the word, and this is a apartment apartment building. This is an, a, a, a suburbial area in, in Barcelona, and and we this is a very popular housing for poor people, and we are we, we won this competition to build something to dignify this area. In the end, it was just to a kind of uh, 18 floors. Residential building, and we use uh, this was the volume the volume to to work with the, the maximum volume, and we I, I decided to create a kind of interior space. I think it's like this Klim's uh, uh, picture of the keys is like the the man wrapping the, the 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 women in order to look themselves and not not taking care of the of the surroundings, and we fit this. This, this is the underground levels of garage. We fit this this building in the place, and these are this is the the main the, the, the block underneath, and then keeping free the, the ground floor, and then these different levels, uh, re reaching this this the top, and keeping part of this area free for for a, a swimming pool for the for the, the children, very small pool for the children at the top, but. These are models of this building. This is the plan. I think it looks really weird, but but uh, this is the the, 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 the the shape. And then this was the, ma the maximum effort to create this interior space with the staircase, the elevators. You have four apartments per, per, per floor, but this can, can give, could give a kind of a feeling of neighborhood. Uh, here you can see more or less how they disappear at the top. But uh, this was my idea of, of, of creating something happy there. But the, the municipality asked me to be very white. And finally, it was white. But I took the opportunity to, to place the color inside, I think. And suddenly, this, this narrow space inside is not so, it's really interesting. I think it's a place where people meet together, and they can use this public space here. They have a very small pool for the children. and then. And then suddenly you have this place to leave the, the bicycle or, or whatever, 
and I think Sally we had again this 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 a space uh, for 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 communication for the relationship between between neighborhood neighbors. This is a, a building for for a, a educational building, and we the, we. We, the project was about rooms for the neighborhood to, to meet and to have uh, uh, lessons by night and we fit between these two walls we fit this kind of this kind of um, structure this to, to create a kind of entrance to this patio and at the same time we cut the existing building here we cut the building here to place a gym in order to connect these trees these pine trees here this forest with the patio here and this is the project, this part, cutting the existing and allowing this communication and fitting this building here. This is the, these are photos of this, but trying to keep this as an entrance with different scales and, and, but, and trying to, 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 to define a new entrance and f this, 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 this twisting uh, structures. But this is a nice moment when, when people, Children use this 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 space, and you can see the the, the, the relationship between these pine trees there and through the, the the gym and towards this part of the patio. This is the gym. Nothing that works as a stage for as a theater, as an open open space. Here is how it works. Looking back towards the existing staircase, and this twisting. This twisting volume towards the public space in front, in front of the building, to to prove. This is the. I, I think the, this was uh, uh, for us. It was um, a kind of gymnastic exercise for the next project I will show you. That is uh, the black in offices. This is in. This is an office. This is a building for in Barcelona. This area here. This is an industrial area, and the project deals with with this. Uh, these alleys, uh, as it was in Barcelona four many years ago, a long time ago, this kind of alleys for loading uh, stuff, and, and we create this axis in in the middle, this kind of a spine with 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 uh, um, elevators and staircases, and then this kind of alleys that connects from one from one 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 street to the other. Again, these are the structures, these kind of shelves. Um, is uh, there are 50, 100 square meters offices, and 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 it was really very 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 easy. This is this is the main spine, and then you have this kind of alleys, and each box has 100 meters uh, to hire for startups, startups offices, and and this is the final result. This is the main entrance. This kind of gate. You enter the you enter the, the this this main corridor and you get into into these into these uh, spaces. Then you can cross the building. You have everything is open, and you can share and you have different spaces. I think it's a building prepared to 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 to, to bring anything anything there. It's very industrial. It's in this this uh, in 22. Uh, district in Barcelona, and and all is in the structure is kind of shelf. But but, but the nice thing is this this kind of this kind of uh, twisting surfaces uh, looking up. No, if you have this is the main spine, and then suddenly you have this 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 interior space that brings light to to all these uh, offices. Here you see. We work. Every, all the installations are seen. Everything is is a plug-in building. You go there and you can work immediately after you arrive. And elevators. And these are the these are the the, the boxes. And these are the, the 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 spaces. The offices space. This this is the area you see, and this is how it works. It's kind of shelves. Each office is this part, and then you have this brush um, metal. And this is one of my favorite photos because it's not only about this interior space, but I think it's kind of family portrait. 
I think this is the grandfather, the grandmother, and, and the son, and the nephew. And, and I think it relates to the, to, the, to the neighborhood, but at the same time, it's really important how you can cross and how you can give this kind of public life inside. And then these twisting spaces that can allow you to leave the bicycle here or have a bar, or, and then you use this, this and this is from one street, and this is for this forest from the other street. Again, this kind of family portrait with these alleys, and we kept this this building uh, because it's an historical building. And the main entrance is through this alley here. Then you enter there, and this image, and this is how it looks. And the last, the last part of my, my dialogue, my kind of conversation, is, uh, is about the projects we are um, developing at the moment. This is one project we are developing in, in Panama. And the, it's called the Cocobolo Center. It is a housing offices mar market. We, this is the Cocobolo tree. The Cocobolo tree is, is this tree. In, and this tree has this tough area, but inside is uh, hollow. This is very soft. And then this, were, this was the beginning of how to use this kind of uh, structure for, for our project. That, and that's. That's, these are drawings of, of, the, of, of, of the project, how to fit these this big trunks as buildings. And then we develop this circular uh, plant with a garden, vertical garden inside. These are, this is the, 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 the central market with this roof, this green roof, and then fitting these buildings that they, they come. This is the, the garage, offices, housing hotel. This is a part of this project and these are views. I am not so fond of, I thought that I, I wouldn't bring renders, but, but it was the only way to explain. This is project we are right, right now working on. And this was a competition. We, 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 didn't, won, we didn't win this competition, but uh, it's, it's a passenger terminal in Kinmen. And you know that when in Taipei, if somebody wants to welcome, welcome you, this person comes with an umbrella. And, and this, I, this project is, again, something that can, can explain this project explains easily again our our way of working. These these are the beginnings and and how how this this kind of, of material informs our processes. This uh, this uh, term, this passenger terminal they ha had to work as a, as a machine so. Again, is is about. I am showing you only these handmade models. Uh, I have to say that that we have a lot of machines in our office, but but I thought that it would be nice to 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 show you just this absolutely handmade and very 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 easy uh, models. Here, this is the the plan of this terminal and. And again, the drawings, drawing is about geometry and looking for, for, for a structure and looking for, for the, this kind of preci precision. No? This is the main pillar of this. And here, you, again, is this, this process we, we go through Always, no. Uh, I think I have to say that I am only explaining a, a layer of our work. I think architecture is about a lot of layers. We can, we could talk of technology. We could talk a lot of uh, about different things. But I thought that it would be an opportunity to talk about geometry, 
and about this kind of private stuff, this kind of very personal and intimate uh, stuff. Here, these drawings are. This is about grasshopper, of course, just to to transform these these umbrellas into different shapes and and how how these different technologies and different programs programs can inform your project and your decisions. I think what is really useful about technology is that they can change your decisions. They can inform in a different way your your work. And and I really like when when something new happens and something can really change your, your track and your your main way of working. I think these these are the only technological drawings I am, show, I am showing you, but uh, just to, to explain that the, 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 the geometry and our drawings are getting more complexity and then you have to, to take all these softwares and all these new techniques to, to, to work with. But at the same time, I think the, the beginnings are, are what, what are really important in order to share things. So this was the image and this was the park around and this was the image of this competition. We were lucky uh, for the competition of Camp Nou, the stadium, and the principal concern was to have a stadium for Barcelona. And this, we were talking about, about, the, the, about how to, not to have a, a normal stadium, but a stadium that could bring the qualities of the city. And again, this kind of personal, private stuff that we that is not useful. I think I I, def, I am a, a convinced that the useless work is the most useful work in the end. And all this Gaudi's work and all this colorful city, all this. Uh, Palau, Palau, um, Park Whale, all all these conditions from the city. Uh, we were working on this collage, just to to think of Miró, to think of Tapias, to think of Picasso, to think of a lot of conditions that could be brought to this project. And and in order to think of of a new a new dress for the stadium, but uh, but belonging to the Barcelona, to Barcelona, not belonging to any in, in, any anywhere else. So the, the existing building is this concrete structure and this asymmetrical bowl, and and we we this is the the, the existing and we our project was about this this uh, metal this steel structure completing the the, the bowl. But working like on tiptoe, you know, tiptoes uh, regarding the, the, the existing, and of course making um, this is the, the the structure. I think is something common in in our work that suddenly we keep the, the existing, but the new structure is absolutely absolutely light. This is the new structure. This is the shape we we, we are adding, and and everything is is related to this new space existing and the new is something absolutely like and i show you this is the a very very amazing skylight we have in in our main concert hall in barcelona with this with this uh, glass uh, uh, gorgeous uh, light through it and and we thought that something could happen with similar to that and these are Meanwhile, me drawing, somebody else is trying to inform the project with a very particular work. The existing, the existing project, the existing building has these this precast concrete panels. And finally, we, we, we brought to the facade the conditions of the, gla the glass, the ceramic, and the LED. And we designed a very sophisticated facade with different layers in order to bring the qualities of the ceramic because Barcelona is a, a craft. We have a lot of crafts and ceramics, and but bringing the qualities of the of the craft, the, the glass, and 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 the, the and the light, the electronic electronic light by LED. And these are testers of the colors. These are the colors of our city. We thought this is the box. This box is called Barcelona. I think it's a box expressing which are our colors, and 
And I think the, the, the best facade could, uh, we thought that the best facade could be the interior facade of the stadium. I think when, some, when it, this is happening inside, it would be nice to bring that outside, no? I think just upside, inside out. And then these were the conditions we wanted to, br to bring uh, to this new facade with the ceramics, glass, and LED, just from the ceramics to the LED screens at the top because of the sponsors or whatsoever. Then by day, it was a kind of ceramic. By night, is a kind of a spectacle, kind of show explaining what, happen what is happening inside. And this is the, the video we, we, we did for the presentation just to, just to, to transmit, to communicate, to convey our feeling. Unfortunately, uh, Nick and Sakei won the competition and we, we had the second place. Uh, and the, 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 the project ha that has won is without facade. <laughs> and this is the last project I want to show you. This is a, a competition we won. Uh, it's for, uh, for a company in Andorra. I think Frank Gehry was, was joined the competition as well. And this is the very small country. This 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 small this city is about only seventy thousand people. And this is the place of the project. They 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 won a big, a huge project, a huge program here for for Andorra Telecom. is a is the main um, uh, phone company. And this is the space they, they, we had to keep this 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 existing building. Uh, in the middle, and then I thought that w if we had to keep this building and we had to build all this area, we, we, it, the best thing was to put up the building and, and keeping this space as public and then creating kind of underground square, like for example the Rockefeller Center, no? it just, just with bars, auditorium, whatsoever, uh, underground, and just giving public space to the to the people. This is the program. This is a huge building because the, the, the buildings, uh, this is the existing, and the, the, the roofs of the existing, the, 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 the town are at this level. And then these are the auditorium, all these areas here. And, and, and I think it was too much, but uh, this was the, 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 the rules of the competition. So we tried to place all this program inside inside these two butterfly wings and and this is existing this is the this is a section a model a section model with the auditorium with all the facilities underground this is the the the, the, the building we have to keep and that's the new the new building on top um, then you see here a lot of underground and then this this big here there is a big patio something similar, a big atrium, similar at what happens in, in the Gucini project or this kind of togetherness of spaces. And here you see the volume, <laughs> amazing volume um, that we have to deal with. But uh, I think it's something that absolutely incredible, but this is part of the, of, of, of the game. So we have to do our best. And, and then this is uh, the building just Flying on top of that of that uh, public space, uh, and again this 
this. Uh, the, the, what's really important is uh, the, the, the building works a moment. Uh, it has, it's only uh, 15 meters wide and we, we have, this is supported by two main pillars here and the facade is a structural. The facade has one meter uh, thickness with double, double glass and all the ring has one meter wide. All the ring has all the installations, I think, uh, in order to have all this transparent. Then we have all the supplies, the water supply, the electric supply from all of, around this, wing, this ring. These are parts of, of, of the model and this is one of the most sophisticated joint. You see, it's a kind of chaos. And, and right now, this is, uh, we are working with a Bartlett uh, and we are working uh, in, with, with a very, just printing in 3D, all these um, 300, 320 joints and just working with different, different uh, programs to deal with the surfaces and this kind of, of complications. These are the media, the media spaces. And here you see, this is the, the facade. This is a kind of cushion, cushion full of air that, uh, to, 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 to give, uh, to, to, to give uh, heating and um, air conditioning to the building. And, and the rest is just this ring. Here, you see this is the, how it works. You have this access, these are the elevators and staircases. And from that, you have the facade, a structural double, double, double layer facade. And then you have the other. And then in between, you have these beams in order to have no structure inside. The media spaces. And this is how it will be built structurally. More or less some drawings. And this is how it works. Has, mm, it has uh, begun two months ago, and we are. We, it's supposed to to take us at least three three years. So and that's a conclusion. I think we we you have seen small projects. I think you have seen these last big projects, but I think they have the same intensity. I think they have different scales, but uh, I think that that. Um, we can we can think of our whole work as as one single project. I think this image is just to summarize this idea of of how we work and and how 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 we we we. we <laughs>
Toll. Thank you.